Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of the Groovy Goat Hunter. My name is Ranger Bob and I'm here for a brand new pay dirt that I just got in the mail yesterday that we are doing tonight. I don't even know what it's called. I'll tell you what, let's run the intro so we can get that over with and then we'll get into what kind of pay dirt I got. <laughs> Yes, sir. We absolutely do have a brand new pay dirt I've never done before. This is an eBay pay dirt, so I'll go ahead and get that out of the way because I know how people are going, oh, hell, it's an eBay pay dirt. Mer. I decided to give it a try. It guarantees gold. And here it is right here. It is Georgia gold. And there's the state of Georgia. And there's the gold. Guaranteed half a gram. And yeah, we're going to pan this stuff out. So I've never heard of this person before. He doesn't really have a company name it just says georgia gold and his profile is germ bit 97 does not have very many items that he has sold on his uh ebay page 17 items sold i just went ahead and got the half gram he also has a gram on there but i decided just to try out the half gram first see how it was and if i like it i'll upgrade to a gram or whatever i paid 41 dollars for it with tax and shipping and everything it was actually 45 dollars. so not a bad price if this is guaranteed a half a gram ago so here is the full description guaranteed gold 0.5 grams total weight of genuine georgia gold free shipping shipping preparations takes no longer than a max of three days we will work hard to ship as soon as possible georgia gold pay dirt contains gold natively sourced from georgia in the united states i personally found all of this gold in the pay dirt through painting hard rock mining and other methods in georgia what is unique about the gold naturally found in georgia is its purity georgia has some of the most pure naturally occurring gold in the world at around 98 percent purity i don't know if that's true or not pay dirt is a great way to get into gold prospecting and experience the thrill of gold fever it's a lot of fun finding gold out in the wild so i encourage you to try it yourself pay dirt helps build your confidence in panning and finding gold in nature the amount of gold claimed advertised to be in the bag is guaranteed to be in the pay dirt bag sometimes you might get lucky and find a few specs more i prepare the dirt to have a medium to entry level skill requirement to extract the gold i do this by mixing in black sands and a handful of other heavy objects that i have found on my gold prospecting adventures you may even find some gemstones and natural plaster silver i find this gold for free here in georgia and i want to start making a little side cash from it and then it gives a whole price breakdown of how much he has to pay to ebay wow the gold price per gram at the time of making bag 77 dollars per gram or 2400 per ounce we take the total amount of gold in this pay dirt yeah. bag half a gram equals 38 dollars 50 cents and multiply it by ebay's cut for an average of 14.5 percent per transaction for seller ebay places this tax on all sellers it is now how ebay makes money ebay's cut 38.5 times 0.145 equals five dollars 58 cents we add ebay's cut to the spot value of the gold to make up for at least one of my losses that i take so that brings it to 44 dollars and eight cents shipping dirt is heavy and very costly on average shipping three pounds of dirt costs seven and a half dollars i'm taking the hit so your wallet doesn't have to you're welcome this is as close as I can offer to spot price for the go. I appreciate the description because it sounds pretty honest. So, yeah. I like reading the descriptions, by the way, about these pay darts because it gives you kind of an idea if these people are just trying to BS you or if they're just being genuine. You know, some people that sell their pay dirt, they just tell you straight up what they do and how they do it. Other people try to, you know, romanticize everything that they're doing, acting like that what they do is different from everybody else. And you can read through the bullshit with those kind of pay dirt bag sellers. So anyway, so let's get to the good stuff. Like this bag, it's one of those almost like aluminum foil type with plastic on the inside. It's very dry. I'm just making sure I'm getting every bit of this out. It's got some rocks in it. Ooh, got some quartz. I like my quartz looks like it's got a little bit of organics in there as well so yeah let's get to classifying it so i've got my bucket i've got my adapter and i've got my little green classifiers so let's pour it in i'm starting out with a quarter inch mesh classifier Ooh, here comes the dust Ooh, big old rock in there too very dry stuff shake it up and we're done and there it is I'm not expecting to find any gold in my plus quarter inch stuff, but if I do have pieces of quartz, I love to take my quartz and crush it later. But there's the quarter inch, and yeah, let's just go ahead and fast forward through the rest. You all have seen me classify a billion times. Put it in the hyperdrive. Here we go.
took a while. All right, so we got our classifications done. Let's go down here and look at them. We got seven. There's a lot more pay dirt in there than I thought, but yeah, seven classes. We're gonna start with my quarter inch, followed by my 10 mesh, 20 mesh, 40 mesh, 50 mesh, 60 mesh, and all of that is minus 60. So yeah, seven classes. We're gonna start down here and we're gonna work our way all the way to the top. So I really don't expect anything past 20 mesh. We'll see, I always guess at it before I do them. Half a gram of gold, I would think most of our stuff is going to be in the 40 mesh, 50 mesh, and 20 mesh. There they all are. Let's get over there and let's start panning. Overhead. All right, so I've already done the first pan. <laughs> I thought I was recording, I wasn't. I'll show you my first pan, and there it is. Flower gold, I have never seen flower gold in Georgia pay dirt until today. And being that this started out that way, that just makes me rethink my whole life. I question everything now. I don't know who I am! The pay dirt itself looks just like Georgia pay dirt. Very fine sands and some black sands as well. And the mica, which is all the glittery stuff that you see in my tailings. The flower goat is the first. All right, that's good enough. Let's do a quick tap. Yep. Wow. Oh man, we got some floaters going too. I know it's hard to tell from your perspective, but yeah, from my perspective, looking at this gold, I've never seen gold that fine in Georgia pay dirt before. So there's the gold right there. I'm gonna go ahead and suck that up and then I'm gonna repan all this again. Yeah, and all the gold that I missed the first time around, it's so small. I'm just gonna have to suck it up even if there's black sands in there. All right, we're done with that. We got one, maybe two more in the minus 60. All right, I'm gonna stratify this. This will take me a second and then we'll pan it. All right, time to pan. Lord, we couldn't close our eyes. Lord, we couldn't close our eyes. An old woman shout gave us a fries. Good enough. Tap it back. Try to get as many of those black sands out of there as I can without losing my gold. So there's the gold. I'm gonna go ahead and suck that up with whatever sands are still in there. And like I said, all of that stuff I will repan. I'll put it in a bucket and then I'll pan it later. We got one more batch right here and we're done with the minus 60. I'm just gonna do it all, stratify it, be right back when I'm almost ready to pan or maybe I'll just give you the end result. So I'll show you that bunch again. Very, very fine gold. And then I'll repan this yet again and then we will be done with the minus 60. All right, we're done with the minus 60. Let's go to the plus 60, which should be easier to pan. A little, at least. Plus 60 right here. Let's do the magnetics first, and then I'm probably going to stop because I just felt my camera, and it was hot. So quick side note about that. Somebody had made a comment to me about putting some kind of fan behind my GoPro. I bought one. The one I bought is supposed to the GoPro is supposed to fit in it and there's a fan behind it. There was two problems with that. One, the fan is directly behind it so it picked up the sound of the fan blowing into the microphone, which wasn't good. And number two, I can't put my mod inside of it because it only fits the GoPro itself, not the mod that goes around my GoPro. Pointless knowledge for you. You're welcome. All right, 60 mesh right here. This is my plus 60. We're gonna do that much. Hand it back and we got a couple, but there they are. We got what, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, about 14, 15 itty bitty pieces of gold. Let's go to the next one. I'm gonna dump it all in there. All right, let's pan it. OK, 
Okay, that's good enough. Let's tap this one back. Tap that out so you can see it. About another 15 pieces right there. Again, super small. Suck those up and we're done with the plus 60. And we will go straight to our plus 50 because normally I don't do 50 mesh, but since I had so much of the 40 mesh that I split it into 40 and 50. There's my 50 mesh right there. And that's about half a bowl full. All kinds of mica in this stuff. All that shiny mica goes flying out. All right, quick tap. Looks like we got six pieces. Uno, dos, tres, four, six. I don't know what to, I can't speak Spanish. I can speak French. Un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq, six. In Spanish, it's, what is it? Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, siete. I probably just butchered the Spanish language for that, I apologize. All right, I think we got time to splash and drop my pan. Did that, now let's go ahead and do Half of that, we'll do half and half. What do we got here? Two, four, six, eight, nine pieces of gold. And then we got one more, and then we will be done for the night because it is past midnight, and I've got some editing to do. But there it is. Do a quick pan, and then we will see you guys first thing tomorrow night because <laughs> I ain't getting up first thing in the morning. Didn't get a whole lot out of the 50 mesh. I'm kind of surprised. Quick pan back. And, oh my goodness. Did we get any? Did we get any? Yeah. We got one piece out of that last batch. Wow. One dot. Doing. Right there. Suck that up and we are done with the 50 mesh. And I am done for the night. And what is going on? I had to stop for the night because my GoPro, it didn't cut off, but the light just went black it wasn't in the garage it was in the camera very weird never i didn't see it because my camera's facing down i took the temperature as soon as i touched my camera and pulled the battery out the battery was so hot that i could barely touch it so i've got this little temperature measure or whatever you want to call it and hit that battery about five minutes after i pulled it out it's still 107 degrees the battery yeah that thing gets hot so yeah, I quit for the night. We got done with the 50 mesh. If you didn't see it, I only got one piece in that very last bit. So yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow and we will finish it off. And just like that, it is the next day. We've still got, did I start on the 40 mesh or not? Not. We're gonna pretend like I know what I'm doing. We're gonna either start on the 40 mesh or continue with the 40 mesh because I don't know where I left off yesterday. And there it is. We'll do a lot. This is gonna be really easy to pan from now on. I mean, the stuff beforehand was pretty easy as well, but this is gonna be like extra easy. All right, quick tap and we got go. What is that? That's something new. I'm gonna suck that up. That's like, I, I, I think it's pyrite. I'm gonna suck it up, but there's five pieces of gold for sure and then a possible piece of pyrite. We'll do a lot more on that one and then we'll finish the rest. What I did today, I was kind of on the lookout for some more pay dirt to buy so I can do some more reviews because I don't have any more pay dirt besides this. I got on Chris and Goldmine. They'd sell prospecting gear as well. I always buy their pay dirt and I had no intentions of buying their pay dirt, but they have one of those prospector dreams little sluice buddies or whatever they're called. And I wanted that because I thought it would be really good to use here. Even though I do have my own sluice box, I wanted to try that one out. So I purchased it. Then as I started to check out I decided to get another bag of pay dirt so I got another Chrism pay dirt bag which is Georgia gold as well if you don't know who Chrism is but it's actually a really good pay dirt to use on that sluice box that I bought they always send you 10 pounds of pay dirt which is a lot of pay dirt and I'm going to use that to test out that sluice mat thing I bought so anyway let's pan this back 
I will do a review on that, by the way. Yeah, we got a lot in that one. There it is. Even a super tiny piece of gold. What do we get? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. About 28 to 30 pieces. And then we got one more to do on the 40 mesh, and we are done with the 40 mesh. But yeah, I bought that because I saw Vendetta. Of course, everybody else gets their prospecting gear for free, tested out for their channel. I have to pay for mine. For all of you who are looking for somebody to test out the prospecting gear for free, Groovy Goat Hunters right here. I'll do it. Dan Hurd's always like, yeah, Gold Hog sent me this $800 sluice box, wanted me to try it out. I guess I will. I'm like, how do these people get that? Well, I mean, I know how they get it. They have a lot more subscribers and watchers than I do, or viewers. What did I say, watchers? Nice. I'll be there one day. When I'm 97 years old and I'm still doing this, I'll finally hit that 2,000 subscriber mark. Pan this back. Oh, wow. We got a bunch in this one, too. Yeah, it pans back pretty nice. The, the black sands are coming back and the gold staying, except for that one piece right there. There we go. That is the last of the 40 mesh, and there's a lot. Boom! 20 mesh. We'll do it all. Why not? There's everything in my 20 mesh. Two, four, six, seven pieces of gold, and that is it. We will suck those up. There it is right there. I don't know if you can see it in the snuffer bottle, but that's really close to being a half a gram. I might see one or two pieces in my 10 mesh. I don't know, we'll see. Speaking of 10 mesh, there it is. So this is everything that is plus 10 minus quarter inch. Now, he did say that there could be some gemstones in here, so I'm gonna be on the lookout for those. But I don't know if we'll see any gold. If I see anything that is bigger quartz, I will pull those out, just like that piece right there. Oh, there's a gemstone in there. I'm picking out quartz, but I saw my first little bitty gemstone. Very interesting, too. What is this? Oh, we gotta look at that. There's something in there that's shine. Oh, there it is. Whoa, what is that? That's a trip. Look at that. Oh, we gotta look at that. That is really cool. It looks like maybe peacock ore, and I can see some more in there. You see all these little blue pieces? Yeah, there's some gemstones in there. Cool. I'm going to try to pull out as much as I can without revealing too much. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and pan this. Yeah, no gold in this. Here's the last bit of the tin mesh. I really don't think we're going to find any gold. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a few minutes on this and pick out as much as I can and uh, get all the gemstones out, and then we'll pan the rest. All right, so I think I've picked out everything that was big pieces of quartz and or gemstones. I thought there would at least be one piece of gold in my tin mesh, but no, no go. All right, so we still have the quarter inch left. I know there's no gold in that quarter inch. So let's get the quarter inch. I'll set this right here, and then we'll take a quick look at that stuff. And here it is. These are all my gemstones. This is a very cool looking rock. See, I, I've said this in my other videos. I don't mind gemstones in my pay dirt, but when they're super duper small and you have to pick them out with like a tweezers or something, I don't like that as much as like something like this. This is a big chunk. This is a lot easier to get out and to deal with. These smaller ones are still cool, but you know, they're just, you don't want to just dump them in your tailings. You have to pick them out. I don't know. Just my opinion on it. So let's dump all this in here, get it wet so we can look at it. I'm not very good with gemstones. I, I can recognize some of them, but for the most part, I don't know what most of it is. Let me get done with this and then we will wrap it up. We are done with this pay dirt 100% for sure. So yeah, I'm going to take all of the gold that we got out of that pay dirt. I'm going to dry it and then we'll take it upstairs and weigh it. And we'll also look at these gemstones that I got out of that. Probably get all this under a microscope because I'm interested to know what some of these gemstones are. See you guys up there. It's time to look at this stuff, get a weigh in, see what we got. It don't really look like a half a gram, but it could be. Who knows? I cleaned it up as best I could. There's very, very fine grains of sand in there as well, but it's pretty clean. And then here's all of these gemstones and stuff, pyrite. That looks like citrine or something. But anyway, there it all is. All right, let's get a weigh-in. I'm going to zero that out, and let's dump. 
Oh, wow. Yeah. That was a lot easier than I thought it would be. All right, so we got 0.581. Nice. Pretty well over the half a gram. I thought it was going to be right at half a gram, but we got about 800 of a gram over. So for a half a gram bag, that's not bad. So yeah, let's get on the computer and see what kind of value we got out of it and ROI. And then we'll get it under the microscope and we'll look at all this stuff. Let's put in the weight that we got. 0.581 grams of gold. We are going to call it 24 karat. Gold price is 2,404.84. Calculate $44.92. That, that is awesome. The reason why that's awesome, I've already forgot what I had. 44.92, I'm gonna put that in our percentage calculator. I paid $45 out the door. It was $41 and then it was $4 for shipping and handling. Actually, it was free shipping and handling. It was $4 for tax, made it a total of $45. So we'll calculate that real quick. Look at that, 99.8. Here it is right here. They don't have any more. It says out of stock right here. He bumped the prices up to $44. So I don't know if I got some kind of discount or what. I paid $41. Then after taxes, it was $45. What a great return. We'll look at the gold under the microscope as well to make sure it's legit. We'll do all that. Okay, so I got the microscope on and I'm going to show you the gold first. I'm just going to try to hang over the gold so you can get a good idea of what it looks like. Every bit of that's 100% gold. Let me turn the light down a little. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? There it all is, man. That's all gold, too. Look at all them itty bitty flakes. That's super tiny flower gold. All right, let's look at these gemstones. Minerals, whatever. There are some that I just want to look at. There's a couple pieces of citrine in here. Small little piece of amethyst right there. Looks like it's got some dirt on it. Yeah, this is one of those pieces of pyrite couple of things I wanted like this right here I don't know what this is but it looked interesting it might just be a rock but it looked interesting to me so let's look at it for a second it's not magnetic it is heavy but I thought maybe that would be something I don't think it is I wanted to see what this was I have no idea what that is but that looks cool too <laughs> this blue piece of gemstone I don't know again I, I don't know what any of these are called if you know let me know in the comments is that just another piece of blue citrine or something looks really cool but yeah no clue what that is there's some more of the pyrite but this is more of a gold colored pyrite since you guys know a lot more about this than i do that watch my channel is that gold that is mixed in pyrite or is that just a different color of pyrite well actually the more i look at it the more it doesn't look gold it did at first but now it doesn't i don't know sometimes when i put the light on this at first see how it's gold looking it'll change all of a sudden the, the i guess the lighting and the reflection off of it makes it change the color here's some kind of blue green looking something or another and if any of y'all know what this stuff is let me know in the comments yeah see how it's got that like blue streak in it it's got green and then right there it's got blue there you go look at that that is cool let me get close up on it very trippy stuff is this that peacock ore you see all of the uh quartz embedded in it but you see that red i mean uh, you can obviously see it because you're sitting there watching it with me but that is so trippy i've never seen anything like that and here's the other side of it so it got all kinds of stuff in that it's really cool all right this is the last piece we'll look at this is that big rock so, I mean, that looks like it's pyrite there and then peacock ore there. See how it literally splits in two? And then it's got some more peacock ore in it. And if I'm saying this wrong, if I'm mispronouncing what this stuff is, let me know in the comments. But look at those colors. That is insane. Just a super cool rock just got all kinds of character to it. You can even see the quartz inside all around it. That looks like a piece of clear crystal or clear quartz in that spot right there. That's amazing. I could look at this one all day. Look at all that. It almost looks like there's gold in this as well. Like inside the quartz. 
Good stuff, man. That was a that was a great pay dirt. I really am impressed by that seller's pay dirt, that eBay seller's pay dirt. It's very hard to find good pay dirt on eBay, and uh, I think that would be the second time I've gotten pay dirt from eBay that I really did like. The other one was that whiskey bottle looking pay dirt that I've gotten twice. I also like to buy pay dirts more than once to see how consistent they are with their pay dirt. So I'll definitely be buying from him again. But yeah, I love that pay dirt. That was great. Got my five tenths of gold, my half a gram. I got almost a hundred percent return on just the gold. I got all these gemstones and minerals and rocks that were really cool. The pay dirt was super easy to pan it was a really good pay dirt and you can tell it was from georgia it's got that typical pay dirt look here the the quartz and the sands and all that it's definitely georgia pay dirt very impressed with that seller's pay dirt i do recommend them because it was good doesn't seem like he does a whole lot of it probably somebody that goes out there when he can and gets it and then sells it when he can thank you guys for watching this video of the georgia gold pay dirt review i guess that's what it's called that's what it said on the bag do not forget to hit that subscribe button like button share button notification bell hit all those buttons it helps my channel i really would appreciate it it costs you nothing that wraps it up and until my next review this is he saying peace and love and i will see you on my next video bye folks <laughs>